Hi, this is Ife. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Arrays Outside function in MapInfo. So what is the Arrays Outside function? The Arrays Outside function is an editing command that allows you to move a portion of a map object using the current selected object as the eraser. The portion of the target object that is not overlapped by the erasing object is then removed. Um, when it is Arrays Outside active, it's active when the following conditions exist. One, a layer is editable. Two, an object or objects in the editable layer are set as the target. Three, an object that acts as the eraser is selected. And four, the map window containing the map object is active. To perform the arrays outside function, you can open MapInfo Pro, open your sample table, And the first thing we need to do is make sure that our table is editable. To do this, if we go to the bottom here, select that, select the layer. In this case, I'm using Australia. And that now makes the layer editable. Um, now we need to set the target um, objects. So what I'm going to do is go to the Spatial tab. You select. I'm going to use a Marquee Select. So I can just draw a box around all the objects. And that selects all the objects. And now in the spatial tab, you can also see we've got a set target command here. If I click on that, that's now been set as the target. Um, now for the actual razor object, you can either use an existing object from another table, or you can insert your own object here. So what I'm going to do is use the insert command, choose ellipse, draw my ellipse where I want to raise. So I want everything inside this ellipse to be kept. So it may be a sales region area, for example, to show um, the area that the sales people will be covering. Now if we go and select our razor object, and then we go to arrays in the spatial bar. So we've got two options here. So you can either erase the target or you can raise outside the target. For the scope of this video, we're going to look at the arrays outside target. So if I select that, then any objects um, that don't overlap with this ellipse should then be deleted. And there we go. So all the uh, parts of the objects that are not overlapped by the eraser object have now been deleted, and this leaves us with this ellipse area, um, which has the area of interest that we want to keep um, for our analysis purposes.